Another hidden feature you may or may not know about is that you can pin folders to your taskbar down here. And all you do is you grab a folder, I'm going to grab my documents, and you can just pin them right there. And whenever you want it open, click it, and bam, you can access your folders right from the taskbar. Another hidden feature is how to actually delete a file totally off your computer. When you delete a file by right clicking and clicking delete, it doesn't really get deleted. It just gets marked as available for use. But to really totally delete your file, you're going to click start and type in CMD. And once you're here, you're going to type in C I P H E R slash W colon. And this is going to be the letter of your driver, your main driver. Most of the time, it's going to be your C drive, your local C drive. You're going to type C. And then you're going to hit enter once you hit that it's going to go through your whole C drive and figure out what files can be overwritten totally and deleted off your system for good I'm not going to do this because this actually takes a lot of time depending on how much you have deleted the next feature I'm going to show you is how to use hotkeys to move windows across multiple monitors in different positions on one monitor or any anywhere and the way you do this is you're going to hold the windows key you're going to hit one of the arrows and this moves them in different positions The next feature I'm going to show you is how to show hidden files and folders. And the way you do this is you're going to hit start, you're going to take control panel, and here you're going to have to go to categories. You're going to hit appearance and personalization. You're going to go down to folder options, and you're going to hit show hidden files and folders. And this panel should come up. And what you're going to do is you're going to go under hidden files and folders. You're going to hit this icon that shows hidden files, show hidden files and folders and drivers and drives. And once you hit that, you're going to hit OK. And now hidden files and folders are going to be shown. And you can see this. I go in your local C drive and hidden files are going to have a little off color to their folders to the side. The next feature I'm going to show you is how to make your computer or laptop into a virtual router. And the way you do this is you're going to have to download this simple tool, virtual router, Wi-Fi hotspot for Windows 8, 7, and 2008 or 2. All you're going to do is download it. Once you download it, you're going to install it. And once you install it, this window should pop up. What you're going to do is it, you can add the name that you want your wi virtual Wi Fi to be named. You can add a password. You have to add a password. You're going to start your virtual router. And once it's started, you can pretty much connect it over any any device. And but first, you have to be connected to uh, Wi-Fi. So this is pretty much tethering Wi-Fi over multiple devices. And this is good for uses if you're in a hotel and you have to pay for Wi-Fi. You can tether over to your mobile devices. Well, thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down low. If you liked the video, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. Hope to see you again.